Today's video is going to be about my 2024 ins and outs. And hopefully as I'm talking, you can make your list and write down your ins and outs, things you want to start in 2024 and things you want to let go of in 2024. Because we all know you got to get rid of that clutter to bring in the good stuff for the new year. So let me help you do that. Why am I the cut? You're the cut! You're the fucking cut, bitch! Hey y'all, my background may look different, my camera may look different because I'm actually using a camera right now. See, I have my phone right here. I am using my new Sony ZV-1F. If the video looks a little weird, if the audio sounds a little weird, I'm sorry. I haven't got all the right settings yet. I am very new to camera life, so I hope everything's working pretty good. Let me turn that AC off. Okay, I am back. And I have a cookie. I'm gonna start off with outs, so then we'll go into ins. First thing I wanna let go of of 2024 is being late to almost everything. I really need to learn how to manage my time effectively so that I can be on time for different events and just look responsible and be more responsible and fit more things into my schedule. Fitting things into my schedule is going to be very important for me in these next coming months because I do have a job now for my school and I'm doing YouTube and I'm a student and I want to take care of myself, I want to hang out with friends. There's just a lot that goes into life that I would like to fit in throughout my week. But when I'm always late to stuff, then I have to make up time for other things and then it takes up a lot of my schedule and I'm not able to work on the things that I know I need to work on or do the things that I know I need to do. So that's number one. You have to learn how to manage your time and not be late. Number two, I want to stand on my boundaries more. Don't get me wrong, I do stand on my boundaries, especially things that I deem like very important to me. Like there are some things you just don't mention around me or you don't talk about or f things you know about me you shouldn't bring up because it will get you instantly cut off. But for me, it's more of like the little things. Like when I say I don't like something and then they still do it and it's not really that big of a deal i try to push it under the rug when i need to stop doing that because if i told you something hurt my feelings or i don't like anything in general and you're still going out of your way to do it i feel like that's a form of disrespect but since i'm not deeming that disrespect that's too harsh i'm just saying it's not a big deal I think that's a little bit of that people pleaser still in me, which I am not a people pleaser anymore. I live for myself. But getting over stuff like that is not linear. Like you do learn as you go on and I just need to learn to not let people push my boundaries, no matter how small or big it may be. Another thing I wanna leave in 2023, this is a big one, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs, or speech. I want to take this out because life really is what you make it. So if you're constantly thinking that you can't do something, you don't deserve something, it's not meant for you, then it's really not going to be meant for you. Even things as simple as like, oh, I'm so dumb because I didn't do this. I'm so stupid. I'm so this. I'm so that. Like that is self-limiting beliefs and negative self-talk. Like it actually damages your brain quite a lot. And I don't want to put any limits on myself or my life or my goals, accomplishments, whatever, because I have big, big goals for my life. And I would like for all of them to come true. So I need to get that in check. No matter how bad things may be, my love life or professional or whatever, I never want to get it stuck in my brain that I don't deserve something good or I don't attract good things or I'm not attracting my blessings or like something that would make me happy something that will bring me fulfillment isn't meant for me because one thing about it you can get anything you want in life if you're sure you're gonna get it like if you know if you go about life knowing that you're gonna get everything you want I promise it makes your journey 10 times easier and 100 times more likely that you will actually get 
everything you want. Something else I want to leave in 2023 is procrastination. Now, I will say I'm not a big procrastinator. Like if I know I need to do something, I will absolutely finish it by the deadline. If it's something like very important that I cannot miss. And I usually do start stuff a couple days earlier just so I have time to carefully, you know, edit it or anything like that. But when I do get in that mode where I start procrastinating and I'm just taking things extra slow, like at a snail's place, place, what? That's where I start messing up at personally, because when I procrastinate, I procrastinate bad, like really, really, really bad. Like, I won't do things to the day of, my mental health declines, like it just really takes a negative effect on me. When I start procrastinating, that's me slowly going into a slump. And when I'm in a slump, I usually stay there for quite a while, which is why I always try to stay so motivated. So I feel like if I could nip that procrastination in the butt, like when I really, really start to procrastinate, it will just save me a lot of time and happiness because I won't be as sad and it won't take that big of an effect on me because I'll still be productive. And as long as I'm being productive and getting stuff done and being responsible, that's honestly what makes me happy. So I won't be like as sad or in a slump or in a little depressive episode. Another thing I want to leave in 2023 is keeping bad friends around just so I don't feel lonely. This is big for me because I used to do this like a lot, a lot, a lot, and I don't still do it. Like all the friends I have now, I think they're really good friends. I think they're mainly good people. They make me happy. They make me feel important. So thank you to all my friends. But sometimes when I'm meeting new people or I'm interacting with people for the first time and I can kind of tell that we wouldn't be compatible as friends, which is fine. You're not going to be compatible with everybody. I still try to keep them around or get to know them to see if I could um, to see if I can maybe adjust my personality to accommodate them to make them feel more comfortable so we can build a friendship which I don't think that's very fair because almost always it backfires in my face anyway. Like at the beginning of this school year, I tried to make friends with a girl and I knew she wasn't the type of friend that I would want to be around or I would keep around me. She was like boy crazy and she craved male validation and she was also a homewrecker, which I'm not any of those things and I really, really, really hate cheating. I feel like there's no point if you don't want to be with the person, you can just leave. But still, I knew I didn't want to keep those type of people around me because I do believe the people you hang out with is what you'll turn into. I'm stuttering so much today because y'all rub off on each other like it's bound to happen. So birds of a feather do eventually flock together. And I knew I would never be that girl, so it was either we were gonna be friends or we just wasn't gonna like each other. And it backfired in my face because even though I was trying to be a good friend to her, regardless of my stance on her actions or behavior, she wasn't even a good friend to me because we were never really compatible in the first place. So yeah, I really need to stop doing that. If I know me and someone isn't gonna work as friends, there is no point in me trying to change them or fix them or trying to build some kind of fake bond between us, even though I know we're not really getting as close to each other as I would like us to, just because I want to have friends. Okay, now I'm gonna start with my ends. First off, in 2024, I want to start saving consistently. I want to build my savings account because I have big plans and goals for when I graduate college and just for life in general after college. So I need to start saving. I need to get my money right. I need to get my money tight. That wallet needs to be packed. Another thing I want to start doing in 2024 is keeping up with my maintenance. Now, I know maintenance can mean a lot of different things for different people, but for me, maintenance, what the hell? Maintenance means nails, 
hair, waxing, and lashes. I feel like those are the most like important things when it comes to me, really. I feel like those are the important things when it comes to really being a girl, like in your femininity. Like I'm not saying you need all of those things, but for me, that's what makes me feel more feminine and in my element, you know? It makes me feel more girly, more like myself, more of a bad bitch. Another thing I wanna do in 2024 is up my editing game. I've done a pretty good job at staying consistent on YouTube and I do like the way I edit, but I do want to edit more if that makes sense. Like I want to make my videos more entertaining and engaging to where people can sit down and listen to me talk and watch my mannerisms and be like, oh, this was a good time. Like I'm actually enjoying this because you know, it's kind of hard to keep everyone's attention in the age of TikTok, especially on YouTube and longer video formats. And with the niche I'm in, it's not a very entertaining niche unless you are looking to elevate your life. And I do want to get more subscribers. I have a certain goal by the end of the year that I'm not going to say in this video because I don't know who's watching me. And I know y'all be hating. Y'all do be hating. Y'all be... I had to switch angles for a second because I need to charge my camera. It was about to die on me. A big in for 2024 for me personally, I want to be consistent in the gym. I absolutely want to be a gym girly. Like I want to get my body right. Well, I like my body the way it is, but I want to get fit. Like I want to be in shape. I feel like that's very important for me. Being in shape and when I am in the gym consistently for short periods of time, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel more productive. It makes me feel better in general. Like it does make me feel good. And I want to be consistent with it. Consistency is key in everything you do. And for me, the gym is just gonna, it's gonna be a big part of my life and who I am. Like it just is, it really is. Another end for 2024, I want to learn how to protect my energy even stronger and I don't just mean spiritually I mean like with everything down to not reacting to everything just being peaceful like I want to protect my energy because since I'm trying to start a career on social media a lot of people are going to try to attack me anyway regardless of what I do and some people are just miserable and mean-spirited and they want your energy they want to get you out of your energy like they want to take it from you and I used to be the type of person that would react to everything like it didn't take much to get me mad or irritated like I always felt like I had to clap back or I had to say something back but I'm learning that I really don't have to do that because you are wasting your energy to try to take mine, try to get me out of character and react to whatever you're doing, which means you are not doing anything with your time. I'm over here chasing my dreams, getting to that pape, and you are over there being mad. Like you're over there being salty, trying to be in my business. That means you're not getting to your pape. That means you're not hustling. You're not on your grind. You're not doing anything with your life and if you are not as ambitious as me or if you just don't even care to put more time and effort into your future as I do for myself why would I argue with you why do I have to go back and forth with you I don't have to respond to anything you're saying because you don't even really care about yourself Protecting my energy also means not telling everyone my business, especially too early. Like a big thing for me this year is I'm going to be way more private about my personal life, not just on social media, but like to some friends or people in my actual life as well, because as much as we like to think that everyone has good intentions that likes your stuff or comments on your stuff or keeps up with your social media or keeps up with your profile, not everyone has good intentions. Some people watch you just to make sure that you're not doing better than them. Some people watch you just to see if you're doing worse without them. Some people watch you to wish bad on you about whatever you may be posting. Like say you're excited because you might get a job and they see that they're like, oh, um, 
that bitch ain't gonna get her job. She not gonna get that job. They're wishing bad on your future opportunities. Like they're wishing that you don't do something that's not even solidified yet. And another key component of protecting my energy will just simply be to like tune more into my spirituality because I am a very spiritual person. Meditating, journaling, I like um, saging my environment when I first go somewhere or like, you know, once a week or something like that, just to keep the energy clean and make sure it's only my energy and wherever I'm staying. But yeah, protecting my energy is going to be a big, big thing that I'm going to be practicing and actively working on the whole 2024 because I don't want to let anyone get me out of character. I want to get to the point to where no one can even get me mad about anything they may say because I know that it's because they're jealous or miserable or it's just because of a reason that really has nothing to do with me. They're just misplacing their anger onto me. They're looking for a free target on the internet and they chose me and I don't want to get upset about it. Another end for 2024 is I want to take more opportunities. In real life, I am a introverted person. I don't talk much. I don't go out of my way to talk to new people every day. I just kind of go about life with my little circle of friends. If someone speaks to me, I will speak back, but I'm not a very outgoing person. I can be outgoing if it calls for it. For most of 2023, I did have really bad social anxiety and there was a lot of other things going on that just really made me not want to, I'm sorry, I'll keep looking at my phone, really made me not want to take opportunities that I should have took, especially in college. Like there's so many opportunities for you to do in college. It's crazy. I could have joined more clubs. I could have been a part of more events, more organizations, and I didn't because I was too scared of what people would think or I was too scared to approach people or talk to people or get out of my shell. So this year I want to take more opportunities no matter how intimidating they may be. I am going to do it. I am going to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Another end for 2024 is that I want to upgrade my wardrobe, specifically shoes. I've never been a shoe person. Like I've never been a sneaky head. Sneak, what? I've never been a sneaker head. I've never really been into shoes, which I'm just now realizing is very important because if you ain't got no shoes, the, how are you gonna put together outfits? Shoes make up a lot of your outfit like shoes will really make or break your entire fit for real if i'm just out here looking bougie and classy and rich you know especially in my desired aesthetic that i will be tuning into soon i'll be posting more on tiktok i'll be posting more on instagram i will just be more engaged and have a bigger social media presence which is what i want because that's definitely what i'm doing now my last in for this video will be that I want to build stronger familial connections. I love my family. I think family is very important. I think you can also create your own family. Like you can choose who you decide to call family. But every single relationship, whether that's platonic, romantic, familial, whatever, it all requires effort. And I want to spend more time connecting with my family I do especially my mom like I want to start doing things once a week to where we just maybe have maintenance days together or we watch movies together or we just do something together I have to go soon or we just do something together that will strengthen our bond because I want my family to be more connected I want to be more connected to my family because I won't have them forever and I just, you know, I just want to be closer. I just want to be closer with my family. Like I want a tighter bond, that like real, real, like close, tight, heavy family trust. I think that's so cute because when I get ready to start my own family, when I have kids and get married and whatnot, 
I also want that for my kids. Like, I want my kids to be close to their family. I want them to be accepted. I want them to feel safe, be protected, be loved. I want all of that for my kids. So firstly, I'm gonna have to do that for myself. That is all I have for you in this video. But I do love and cherish everyone who watches my videos, everyone who likes, everyone who comments, everyone who subscribes. I do really appreciate it. I am so happy that I have some kind of platform and people genuinely enjoy seeing my videos and hearing my voice and hearing what I have to say. I do have notes of YouTube ideas right here that I'm gonna try to, oh, I'm all the way over here, that I'm gonna try to start recording. If you have any other YouTube ideas that you wanna hear from me specifically, just let me know and I will put it on the list. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Also, vlogs are coming back. Vlogs will be back starting next week. Okay, bye. Hi.